Hello everyone, my name is Jung-Hoo Park. Um, today I'm going to show a um, very useful plugin um, in Navisworks that uh, we can export Navisworks model as an IFC file. It's called um, IFC exporter from a company called CodeMill. Um, and the reason why I'm going to make this video is that I have here a Revit project, which is very complex. Um, as you can see, the geometry is very complex and there are multiple Revit files linked um, in the master file. So if you just look at the um, major file here, that's the geometry I would like to, first of all, uh, export as an IFC. And when I export it from Revit, the problem is that, uh, first of all, the geometry is not 100% clear, even though it's uh, native Revit elements here. As you can see, um, there are some problem when it comes to the IFC export. So um, I think Revit uh, still struggle to export correct geometry um, uh, even though I'm using current Revit 2023 version, there are some difficulties when it comes to complex geometry. So let's take a look uh, how we can export it from Navisworks. Um, um, and the geometry I'm trying to uh, in link in Navisworks is actually Rhino geometry. So let me... Uh, bring this geometry to Rhino using Rhino Insight for Revit. So the script here is very simple and I prepared it. And as you can see, um, we could um, actually bake um, all the linked models. So I'm going to search for documents which uh, shows the list of linked files. And from there, I'm going to get all the elements, which has particularly only these category, because I don't, I'm not interested in other categories to convert as an IFC, uh, because the um, um, yeah, the file size and complexity. So these architectural um, elements, I would like to export, so that yeah, first of all, Revit. Rhino Insight, we have very good uh, tool that we can filter these elements. And then in Grasshopper, native components called Geometry Cache allows us to bake this cache Rhino Insight elements as a Rhino uh, geometry. So once I bake it, out of wire, as you can see, um, some geometries are baked, as you can see. But the problem is it's failing to bake some of the uh, complex um, particular roof geometry here. So roof and, I don't know, some columns and um, framing structure it's missing. Um, but the it's quite well categorized in terms of um, yeah, layer structure and graphic style from Revit. The only part is not clear is this roof, roof part. So what I prepared, it's also, when it's kind of um, box geometry, then these components could work really well. But um, unfortunately, yeah, there is some problem with the complex roof geometry. So the rest of part, we're going to bake it from I'm going to filter some categories and and some of the phase that I don't need and some types that I don't need. I want to uh, filter it and using the end logic, we're going to filter all the elements. So the filtered element here uh, for the main file here is this part here. So I'm also going to... Um, yeah, converted as a Rhino geometry.
now yeah, these parts are basically generated. Of course, the root part is missing. And the missing root part, I'm going to bake it using um, Elephant plugin for Grasshopper. Um, and the geometry, I'm going to just get actual um, parts. So let me bake it. Once I bake it, then another layer structure will be created based on um, the grasshopper definition here. So, yeah, let's take a look at Rhino file here. Now, as you can see, all the roof structure is baked. And I can distinguish between um, the cache memory that created geometry here and also other geometry from the uh, um, Elephant plugin we can, we can see here. For example, if I now select roof or object, object these are the old roof, you can see it's correctly baked from Revit. Um, the, I didn't um, make on purpose all these facade elements from the linked model. Um, because the, it, for this demonstration, I think this file itself is good enough. Um, and we can test it now in Navisworx. So when I open in Navisworx, the same file, this is the uh, code mill uh, IFC exporter. Once you have installed the installation, you have here exporter options. And this is really interesting because um, you know, Navisworx supports a lot of file format. Um, I, as far as I know, it's over 50 different file format uh, you can link in uh, Navisworx. And because the Rhino inside Revit uh, really reads a correct Revit geometry, and this 3DM Rhino file can be uh, append in Navisworx. And when you append it, as you can see, we have really accurate geometry. The challenge is here now we have to export IFC uh, file. And the I found this code means uh, IFC exporter is really good tool because um, Navisworx doesn't have many, actually Navisworx cannot export IFC format, but just this um, IFC exporters help. Uh, we can export proper IFC file. So you can export both IFC 2 by 3 or IFC 4. And there are a lot of um, details. We can map the properties, and you can export properties. And we can also ex map the uh, classes. So for instance, um, you, can, you can choose a selection set, or yeah, generally se selection set, if you have it in, in Navisworx file, which helps you to map different IFC class. So you can define correct class uh, specification here, and then you can define the colors as well. Um, prop I'm going to make a property mapping tema in another uh, video. Uh, right now, just going to export this based on base settings. And let's see how IFC file going to be look like in, in, in Solibri. So all you need to do is just basically map every individual selection set to, for example, door, I can map to IFC door. And then I can choose color because based on this color, I'm going to override the IFC file geometry. So I, I have prepared this thing, uh, this uh, set and that you can save it as XML file and you can open the saved XML file. Then the mapping source will be always reload and you can use it again and again as a template. So let's just, all you need to do is just click on export. And after a while, it, because of the geometry is quite complex, um, it, will takes, it will take like about 15 minutes to export it also. So I'm just going to assume that we mapped and exported it. And when you open this exported file in Solibri, now you can see we have here complete uh, exported result. And if you look at the uh, category here, so BIM 
if I isolate it, these are exported as a IFC beam. One moment, beam element, and I can also add column. So you can see these column elements are exported very good uh, geometry. And we didn't map um, property map, but if you look at the quantities and all this um, information, it's kind of okay. Um, of course, we can provide more common property sets or custom property sets for this element. Yeah, but um, for just for this demonstration, it's quite okay. And also I can go doors, you can see door colors are overridden. A member, I can add member. So I have the member elements that are there. I can also add plate. So once I add plate, these plate information, railing, ramp, and I'll add loop at the end, so slabs. So slabs are edited also. Stair, yeah, you can see all the stairs are also added. Um, transport element, which is lift element. I can add world. So now you see, and also window. So the finally, eventually, I'm going to add roof. So we have here full geometry, uh, which I wish to have this result from Rabbit but it's very difficult to get uh, the same result. If you compare now previous Revit export, this is Revit standard export result, and there's nothing you can do about this kind of um, failed geometry in Revit. And another downside is that when I export Revit, um, you, you can export IFC file from Revit um, if you have export setting correctly set, you can choose the option that um, all the linked file you can export it as a separate IFCs but the problem is first of all it takes a lot of time from Revit and the file size is going to be very large uh, another thing is um, yeah you, you have to somehow there is no option you can merge them as a one IFC. So you will have separated IFC file, and but the, uh, there is no way you can merge it um, uh, when you export from Revit. So all these linked files, you have to yeah, you have to have separated IFC model in this case, and then you can put them together perhaps in simple beam or some other software that you can merge them as one IFC but uh, that is a little bit of workflow work around and what this Rhino Insight helps is because we we can get actually all the geometry out of Revit and send it to uh, Rhino and this Rhino file we can open in Navisworks, so native 3DM file, we can open in Navisworks, and that Navisworks file can be um, exported as an IFC model. So you can imagine if this is real real world project and every facade detail contractors file, they we use a lot of different file formats, and Navisworks is really great because the the interpolation, the, the features that you can import IFC model. There is not many uh, software offers such a variety importing uh, ability. So Navisource is really good. And on top of that, when you use CodeMill's IFC exporter, that you can use any kind of uh, Navisource geometry as an IFC model. Imagine you may get the DGN file from Bentley software, and it's really difficult to uh, work with it in Revit. But once you uh, append it in Avisworks, the geometry is there, then you can export as an IFC. I'm gonna maybe demonstrate a couple of more videos um, in the future. Um, first of all, from Rhino. Now we have Rhino pure geometry. So there, there is some limitation to map the property, but I'm going to export IFC directly from Rhino using um, Rhino plugin called Visual ARQ. And we can set a property set within Visual ARQ and map those property set 
in Navisworks using CodeMill's uh, Live6 exporter, and then we can eventually export very um, detailed info information linked in accurate geometry in Navisworks and export as an IFC file. Um, so stay tuned. I'm going to show this workflow next time. And um, thanks. First of all, I have to say the code mirror supports me to uh, test this uh, workflow. And um, I really appreciate uh, for their support. And uh, we will continue uh, some more experiments uh, using yeah, more detail about this IF6 portal. Thank you very much for watching it. And please don't forget to subscribe. And also, um, if you like it, please like and also share with your um, Beam World. Thank you. Bye bye.